Salt marshes are the lifeblood of our estuaries. The Flagler County Wetland Restoration Project has restored 22 acres of these vital wetlands that were harmed by dragline ditching more than 50 years ago. For nearly two decades, the St. Johns River Water Management District and cooperating partners have worked to restore areas impacted by dragline ditching. Restoring these marshes will help filter pollutants, serve as nurseries for fish, and provide habitat for plants and animals. Dragline ditches reduced salt marsh mosquitoes, but they had unintended consequences such as creating less habitat and food for fish and wildlife and less protection from waves and storm surge. The existing marsh elevation, as you can see uh, behind me, uh, is used to set the elevation of the restored area. So what you see back there is area that was not restored. And this, this site was done about 10 months ago and we're already seeing uh, native coastal marsh species moving in. So this is salt wort, a marsh succulent plant, uh, and then this is a small black mangrove. The Flagler County wetlands now join the 625 acres of dragline impacted wetlands previously restored around the district. So we fully expect this project to be just as successful as the rest of the projects that we've done at North Peninsula State Park and up here at Gamble Rogers. Five, ten years out, you can even tell that it was disturbed. That's how good the restoration has come. We expect this to be just as successful. Dragline ditching created very deep canals and high spoil mounds in an area where changes in elevation of just a couple inches can have uh, critical ecological impacts. Restoring degraded habitat to improve its ecological value for all of Florida species is of utmost importance. Audubon Florida is very supportive of the restoration efforts because they'll have many important uh, benefits for the communities that depend on these systems. If nothing had been done, these important wetlands would be gone in the years ahead. Further wetland loss in the area, less filtering and cleaning of water, reduced habitat and less food for fish, birds, and other wildlife, and less buffering against storm surge. This project uh, not only satisfied but exceeded some of our resource management objectives that are set forth in our plan for Gamble Rogers uh, State Park. People are very responsive and understanding of, of what's going on and they're glad that we're taking the, the steps and we're partnering with agencies to restore the, the dragline ditches from, from many years ago and make it a more productive habitat uh, for the futures. As the project area recovers in the months and years ahead, we will see it begin to look more like it would have if dragline ditching hadn't occurred. Our project set it on the path to be able to recover. Habitat restoration is a great project for returning the habitat back to where it was for people to enjoy. 